Hi everyone, my name is Barbara and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you through all the ways that you can change your Excel row height and column widths. So by the end of the video you'll understand multiple ways to do this. I've been asked it a lot so I thought I'd make a video on it so let's get started. So the first way, number one, is to use your mouse. Now this is probably the one that you use the most if you know how to do this. So what you do is to change your row height is you just hover over the row and then you can drag the row to the height that you want. Same with the column, hover over where you want to change the column, drag it, make it smaller. So this row width and this col these column widths are wider than the default. So if you want to return it to the default, all you need to do is just double click and it goes back to the default for your Excel worksheet. So you can do that for one row or you can do it for multiple rows. But if you want to do the whole worksheet, you select the whole worksheet and then if you drag your rows and if you drag your columns, it will adjust them for the whole worksheet. The second method is to use the auto fit. Now this usually happens if you have some cell contents. So let's just pop some cell contents in there. And if you want to adjust it, this column again, just hover over, double click, and it will self adjust or automatically adjust to the width of your cell contents. Again, same thing if you wanted to adjust all of your columns, select all of them and just double click again. So now we're up to number three. So the next way is to use the context menu. So that's basically the menus. So if we go to the home tab, we've selected our column. And then if we go along to the cells group format, we can change the column width in here. And we could actually specify uh, column width. And currently we're at 13.64. If we wanted to make that to 20, just hit 20 and hit OK. And you can see that's expanded it. Again, if we wanted to change the row, we select it, go to the Home tab and the Cells Group format. And let's look at the row height. It's currently at 14.5. Let's just pop that this one to 20 as well. And that's widened that. So all of the options that we're using are within the context menu. So if you go to the format and you can see row height, we can auto fit them or we can return them to the default width. That covers all of the ways that we've done it so far by clicking to make it the default width, auto fitting by double clicking it when we have some text or some content in our cells. And also we can drag the column width and the row height as well. So all of the shortcuts that we've done are in fact in the context menu there. So number four, we can copy another column or row settings. So you probably know that if we copy and pasted this column into this column, we can go copy and paste. It will, adjust, it will copy everything over, including the text as well as the settings for the column width. But let's say you just wanted to copy the column width, you can just hit copy, go to your next column, hit paste and keep source width columns. And that'll adjust it to exactly the same column width. So you're basically copying the column width settings over. So the final way, number five, is to actually use just paste special and only paste the column widths. So what we can do is we can copy the column, go to the new column, hit paste, paste special and column widths. And it only takes the column widths over. So that's if you don't want to copy the whole of the cell contents. You might just want to use the width of the columns if they're exactly what you want for a dashboard or something like that. As ever with Excel, there is a shortcut. So copy the column, go to your new column, and then the shortcut is, and again, you can copy over just the column widths. So that's five ways to change the row height and your column widths in Excel. The first way is to use your mouse to manual 
to manually adjust the column widths and heights. Remember, if you want to just do one or two, select them and then manually adjust them. If you want to do the whole worksheet, select the whole worksheet and do the same action hovering over. The second method is to automatically fit your rows and columns. So you just double click again. You can just choose one or two or like we just did is select the whole worksheet to adjust the rows and columns. The third method was to use the ribbon or context menu, basically the, the ribbon menus, which is home and the cells group and formatting and all of your options are available there. The fourth was to copy another row or column settings. So you just hit copy, paste, special, and it will take everything, including the column width. If you just want the column width, then what you need to do is hit copy and then paste special and take just the column widths over. And the shortcut for that is Alt, E and S. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'll leave a link to my other Excel tips videos, as well as my pivot table and macros playlists. Thanks for watching.